Germany. The impressive Stadium of Light is also the latest port of call for Germany's captain, Jürgen Klinsmann. Jürgen Klinsmann has played for top clubs in top leagues all over Europe, and wherever he's played, he's remained a striking sensation. His career began in the German Bundesliga for Stuttgart, but in 1990, he moved south to Milan in Italy. Klinsmann spent two years at the San Siro, wearing the blue and black of Inter, making up a German triumvirate of Klinsmann, Matthäus and Foller. And it was here that he believes his development as a player on the pitch and person off it began. When I left Germany, I had no idea how Italy will be. So I went down there, I had to start to learn the language. I had to start to understand the mentality and the people. And uh, yeah, I was going from one extreme to another. And I learned many, many things. I learned uh, to become a lot more tolerant towards the people, also towards myself. And uh, uh, it was a very, very, very important experience. I mean, uh, not only from the football point of view, especially from the lifestyle, from the mentality. After two years in Italy and with a UEFA Cup medal under his belt, Klinsmann took up a new challenge at Monaco in the French League. In Monaco there was another extreme again. Uh, football is not the most important thing there. I mean, uh, they have other things to do. And uh, uh, it was a good experience too because it was a totally different kind of work. Uh, Quality-wise, we were almost on the same level as in Italy. I mean, it's a club which always plays uh, international football, which always battles for the French Championship. It was a good experience too, but I had the feeling that two years were enough. And I, needed, I needed the crowd again, I needed uh, a place again where really football is something special, something important, and that's why I moved then to England. In 1994, Klinsmann joined Osvaldo Ardiles at Tottenham. In England, a reputation preceded him as someone with a penchant for theatrical falls in the penalty area. At his first press conference, he diffused the issue superbly. Uh, sorry, maybe I can, I can ask you a question. I just wanted to ask you if there's any diving school in London. <laughs> but Klinsmann wasn't diving when, on his Premier League debut, he was involved in a clash of heads with Sheffield Wednesday defender Des Walker. As he was carried off, the incident left him bruised and concussed. But by then, he'd already made his mark with his first goal in England and a celebration that became his trademark. And a good start just got better. year to start with the whole team how I was uh, uh, welcomed by the team and also by the fans by, by the people it was uh, that was really wonderful and uh, uh, it was probably my best season I, I've ever played a great season was made unforgettable when he picked up the prestigious footballer of the year award but despite his success Klinsmann only stayed one season at White Hart Lane before bidding an emotional farewell. I mean, it was, it was a wonderful experience and uh, I just remember my last game at White Hart Lane. The team made me to, the, to their captain and uh, the crowd gave me a, a wonderful reception and uh, that actually showed me too that uh, uh, the people understood my move to buy me. The temptation to return to his homeland and join that country's top team on the brink of championship success was too great a temptation for the still hungry striker. It was the right decision because uh, Tottenham was not ready yet for winning the championship in, in England or winning something. And uh, Bayern Munich, they gave me this uh, opportunity immediately. That means you play here every year for the title, for the championship. But Klinsmann is still waiting for his first championship success with Bayern. Last season, though, they did win the UEFA Cup with a run that included a return to England and an outstanding 5-1 demolition of Nottingham Forest. And wherever he's played, his style and strike rate has made him a firm favourite with the fans.
He's the best striker in the Bundesliga. He scored the most goals, and he's my favourite player. Bayern have a lot of good players. Jürgen is the main one. The amount of Klinsmann merchandise in the Bayern shop is evidence of his popularity. But does he believe he made the right decision to return to Germany? I think it was it was uh, the right move. Even if I knew that coming back to Germany means also that uh, I will have in a few uh, uh, subjects maybe a, f a couple of problems because I was more than six years gone and uh, I changed my m mentality a lot and so sometimes I I come to a point here where I'm not perfectly German anymore I realize that and uh, that gives me once in a while the problems but uh, from the technical point of view it was the right move for sure while Bayern struggled to capture the league championship, the national side, with Klinsmann as captain, goes from strength to strength, this year winning the European Championship for a record third time. What is it that makes Germany so consistently successful? Maybe uh, we are technically and tactically too, not on a top level like, like Italy or like France, for example, but uh, we have a mentally a very strong side and we have players, individual players that are always able to make the difference on the pitch and uh, that was maybe one of the main reasons we won the championship in England not because we were the best team but we were mentally the strongest we always believed in us, in ourselves and uh, uh, we, never, we never give up and that makes me very optimistic for the next games too meaning the qualification for the World Cup